Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Spiritual Spotlight series. Today, I am joined by Sabrina Oso. She is a founder and CEO of Oso Safe. Feel safe where you live, work, and play. She's a TEDx speaker, author, and real estate agent on promoting safety and preventing violence in the workplace, schools, and places of residences. Sabrina, thank you so much for being here today. I think this is a very important topic, and I'm so happy you're here. Thank you, Rachel. We're so happy to be with you. So this is the Spiritual Spotlight series, and your journey definitely seems to intertwine with spirituality, safety, and holistic well-being. How did you initially get involved in the realm of promoting safety and preventing violence in various environments? Yes, uh, I've had enough therapy. I've been in and out of therapy for quite some time where uh, I'm comfortable to say that also safe is turning pain into power, basically. Mm -hmm. I'm a survivor of violence. My father beat my mother on a regular basis. My mother would beat me. It's okay. Uh, I mean, it's not okay. It's tough, though. (laughs) But uh, yeah. And and so uh, Oh So Safe was really born out of a one-woman show that I wrote, choreographed, and performed a number of years ago. Uh, The name of the show is Home Sweet Home, question mark. And uh, I play different women being abused. She goes to her good place. That's where the dancing comes in. But then she's pulled back into the terror of violence. But the show ended really strong, really empowering. And I did a lot of research for the show. And I couldn't believe the statistics that I was finding. So I said to myself, um, I need to make this into a business, a bona fide business with products and services that could really help people. And I want to point out that we're not a charity. We're not a nonprofit. We believe that in order to solve the enormous problem of violence, of abuse, it has to be a paid service. So that way it actually gets resolved versus having it as a back burner issue. Mm. Um, and that's how Oh So Safe was born from this one woman show. Yeah. So you have a unique blend of experience merging your background as a real estate agent with your passion for safety through your company, Oh So Safe. Can you elaborate on how these two fields intersect and what it means for the average homeowner or tenant? Sure. Uh, um, the two fields being, I'm sorry, repeat that. So your background is, so you have a background of being a real estate agent. I know you're also a professional dancer and now you're doing oh so safe. So how has the real estate merged into, you know, finding safety and awareness, you know, for a homeowner or somebody in their environment? Because I I know every single person I know, I'm sure you know the same thing. Every single person has experienced some form of violence in their lives, either be emotional, physical, spiritual, it doesn't matter. Every single person has experienced some form of violence. And the fact that you're promoting this feel safe where you live and you're, right. that's amazing. Thank you so much. Yes. A good point. Excellent point. Uh, as you just said, basically everything happens in the home. It all starts in the home, whether you live in a townhouse, a co-op, a condo, a single family home, a multifamily dwelling, a two family home, a villa, a mansion, a mobile home, a dormitory, a senior community. I'm a real estate agent, so I cover all the bases. Your home is should be your sanctuary. It mm-hmm. should be your your anchor. Uh, so when you put that key in your lock, you should feel like, ah. You know, you could exhale, but for many of us or too many of us, that's not the case. So, and if it's not the case where you're not safe at home, well, your whole life is affected negatively, basically. And it's going to take a lot of work to get back to homeostasis, if you will, to get back to stability, Mm -hmm. because when you're living with chaos, abuse and violence, You can't think about what it is that you want to do with your life, like truly, like what's your calling. You can't think about, um, you can't do things day to day in a calm, well thought out manner. You're in terror mode. You're in urgent mode, alarm mode. And as a child living in that type of environment, it is a horrible existence, a horrible existence. You're hyper vigilant. And it's like being in in a war zone. 
you know, in your home. It sounds like you're somewhere, you know, Vietnam War or the Korean War or Afghanistan. It's right here, right in yeah. your home. So, uh, so I said to myself, I cr I'll create a product where we'll make home safe. And it's with the certification, the also safe certifications that we're marketing into the real estate industry. And we could talk about that more uh, later on in the interview, but it's, it's our core product because if we make home safe, then everything else will be safe. Schools, universities, uh, movie theaters, any public place, concerts, uh, workplaces, um, everything starts in the home. And if you trace back any crime, virtually any crime, that person lived in hell. Even school shooters, wow. I would say 10 out of 10, nine out of 10. I mean, if, if you lived in a good environment, in a nurturing, truly loving, respectful environment, that child is not gonna go into grow up to be a shooter shooting up a school, killing children and staff and teachers. No way. That child lived in violence, lived with abuse. And I'm not excusing them. Please don't misunderstand me. Mm -hmm. So I hope I answer the question. Yeah. No, no. I think that's, that's, you brought up a lot of very good points, like safety and everything. You should feel safe in your own environment. You should feel I'm okay. I can breathe. You know, so let's talk about your um, certifications that you said is the core product in your um, your offer suite. So tell us about the also safe um, certifications that people can obtain. Yes, we're saying we want this to propagate over all residency, whether you rent, whether you own, whether you have a mortgage or not. But right now we're marketing this to the landlord tenant portion of the industry because yeah. that's the path of least resistance, if you will. We're saying, look, Mr. and Ms. Landlord, get your properties also safe certified. What does that mean? They will purchase and the price is about $125 per unit. Mm -hmm. For that price, you get the home sweet home, the also safe home sweet home package. It consists of a policy, a seminar, an app, and therapists assigned to the property. Oh. So just to give a brief overview, sure. the policy basically states... You're not going to act abusively. I, as the landlord, I'm going to give you a safe space for you to live. You, in turn, as my tenant, you're not going to act in any way, shape, or form abusively. Otherwise, you, the abuser only, gets immediately evicted from the premises. And we go into full knowledge knowing that that would be the consequences. Uh, another important aspect of the policy is that children have a say on who they want to live with. We do not wait until they're 18 years old because quite frankly, Rachel, that's too late. Yeah. When we wait until they're 18, by then, they're if they're living in a chaotic, violent environment, they're going to resort to drugs, alcohol, um, be involved with the wrong people, gang-related activity. They're going to continue the abuse or commit suicide. Why? Why nip it in the bud? So with our children's book, yeah. um, it is a staple for also oh safe certifications because in the book, I, 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 we do a, uh, it's part of the policy where we're saying to children, say, if, if mommy and daddy are abusing you or they're, they're, they're attacking you on your private parts, you're getting verbally, physically, sexually abused, then who do you feel safe with? It could be an aunt, an uncle, a grandparent, a close family friend, and we get that child to that person. So, so that way they have voice, they have choice. They're not enslaved by their abusive parents, abusive step parents. Yeah. So that's all in the policy. The second component is the seminar. It's the Oso Safe Home Sweet Home Seminar. Everybody gets educated, Rachel adults and children alike on facts, statistics, warning signs, definitions of abuse, the difference between abuse and discipline, what constitutes a good relationship. So that way there's no excuses. Oh, I didn't know that if I pulled my partner's hair, 
that constitutes abuse. Now you know. The third component is an app. It's the YosoSafe app. I hired a software company according to my specifications. This app will detect violent-like movements and captures them in real time, issuing alerts to the landlord. So, for example, let's say a landlord has 10 units. Oh, wow, I just got an alert. You just beat the crap out of her in my unit two, and you just beat the crap out of him in my unit 10. Well, you got to go. This is grounds for eviction. You knew that this was going to happen. I have to maintain property reputation for my other tenants. Yeah. You have to go. That's the app. Mm -hmm. The fourth and final component are the therapists assigned to the property. So it's part of your residency. Mm -hmm. You are required to check in with your therapist once a month. It's a phone call, a text, an email. Is everything okay? Do you feel like anything is looming? Well, Mr. and Ms. Uh, ther therapist, um, our kid uh, came home. Somebody was trying to bully him or her. Uh, we don't know how to handle this. Help us through this. So all of these components put together make for the property to be also safe certified. Mm -hmm. Our logo gets placed outside of the property. So that way, pedestrian traffic, vehicle traffic, they're driving by. They want to know where, where, to, where to live, where to rent, mm -hmm. where to take up residency. Wow, I know what that logo means. I would rather raise my kids or even as a single person. Right. I would rather be in a property that's also safe certified versus one that isn't because this is all preventative. We don't wait until an episode of violence occurs. Then police come. Bad news travels fast. Everybody's upside down, scared. Mm -hmm. It's awkward. No. We do it all before, and if violence occurs, then we have the mechanisms and systems in place to get rid of the abuser and then de-victimize the rest of the family, whoever, yeah. however many members. So that's our core product, the Oso Safe Certification for Properties. That sounds amazing. Like, I love how you said that you even put, you know, out where visible traffic when people are walking by. It's almost like you know, you see an ADT security sign, you're like, okay, they've got a security system. And I love this idea of oh, so safe, like as a, if I'm a single person, I love that. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think that's awesome. Like I'm, I'm really excited. So let's talk about your recent publication, a children's book called home safe home for you and me. How does this book equip kids and the tools they need to make informed decisions about the residency? Yes. Uh, it is, we introduce um, the single component, and I thought about this for a long time. Mm -hmm. What constitutes, you know, the saying, home sweet home. Well, what does that mean? It's respect. Mm. If it's one ingredient, one, in one word, when you're in a safe home, there's respect there. Mm -hmm. So in the book, I introduce the difference between respect and disrespect, abuse and non-abuse if you will so and i and i'm very open about it like i say uh regarding respect and disrespect the um i'm sorry uh like the different ways of living you could mm. be living with mom and dad maybe dad and his girlfriend or mom and her boyfriend the important thing is that everybody in your home needs to be safe and respect one another and not abuse one another Abuse is when someone hurts you or someone you live with in your house. This is disrespect and this is dangerous for you and everybody mm -hmm. in your house. Um, and I go on to say it's not your fault uh, that you're not alone and that no for the moment that for the moment, which means right now you are safe. So just to introduce this idea that that they're not alone, it's not their fault and that and that safety can be yours. And I also introduce in the book something called giving empowerment to children, also oh safe kids, whether they're safe at home or not safe at home, mm -hmm. all kids are also oh safe kids. And I'm saying, if you're not safe at home, say your cheer. I want to live where I am also oh safe and I am also oh safe with 
and they get to say who that is and they get to think about it. So I have, I have like certain illustrations, like to think who do they feel safe with now? Granted, they could, they could lie, right? Cause they're kids. They could be scared. Like I better not say that mom or dad beat me or my stepmom, my stepdad. It's okay. If you're too scared to say that's okay. When you're ready, you'll say who that is. Yeah. And that way, uh, and I say it where they could say it at school to think about it and say at school, like, maybe with their friends or there's commonality there. Like, wow, did you read that book about the Oso oh safe kids cheer? Are you safe at home? It's opening the window, the door, creating it, if you will, yeah. that you could have this conversation and it's okay. You're not crazy and it's not your fault. And, and you deserve to be safe. Oso oh so safe kids, all kids need to be safe. Yeah, Absolutely. So I know that you brought up that you have an app um, that goes along with the certification. So technology and education are two pillars that you believe can help save lives and bottom lines. Can you provide maybe some specific examples on how Oso Safe incorporates these elements to promote safety? Yes, the app is on uh, Google as well as on uh, the app store. And it is we use AI, artificial intelligence and facial recognition to match the, the emotion, you know, now you could be roughhousing, right? You could be kidding around brother, sister, uh, Mm -hmm. friends. So it'll capture that and signal, okay, this is not a violent situation Mm -hmm. or a, 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 an apparent abusive, uh, situation. So when you're being attacked, it's matching your your emotion and and all of this is in the app we are having it improved right now it's being modified to just be more precise on the movements like it'll capture um a punch a hit a slap a kick a spit a a rape even and this will have multiple applications not only for residency but i'm also marketing this to i'm a real estate agent yeah and we are vulnerable That's out true. there mm-hmm. you know for potential clients that have ill intentions they say that they're a buyer meanwhile they're a rapist and they'll get you in a, in a home oh i want to see that uh that property mm-hmm. uh i'm running late and they know that you're alone there and then crap hits the fan and uh, either you get assaulted or kidnapped and or murdered. Um, So this app will be a great tool for real estate agents, for uh, anyone that is, that has a child at home with a nanny or a pet at home with a pet sitter. Um, But yes, we, we want to make technology advantageous or, uh, helping in safety. So that way you don't have to take care of it. A lot of the apps out there, you have to press a button, right? You have to, um, code in certain things. Well, if you're being attacked, you're not going to think about that. You're lucky if you even remember your name, you know, so this will take care of it for you. it, It almost reminds me of like a supercharged life alert system. You know, like how, you know, elderly wear, you know, a a bracelet or an alert system, like, and there's a fall. It it, it reminds me of that because I used to, I'm a nurse. So I used to work in assisted livings and everyone wore life alerts. So I, I, and I, the fact that it can recognize that without having, like you said, pick up my phone and put in a code and I'm like, like, how am I going to think? Like I'm being attacked. Like, Right. That, that's right. very intuitive. It sounds like, like it's a very intuitive system, you know? Thank like you. That. Yes. Yes. I, and I designed it that way. Uh, uh, my, the software company that I hired, I, I, I made sure of that, you mm-hmm. know, I, I know for a fact that if I had my own product go, growing up, my reality as a child would have been much different on the positive yeah. because my father and my mother, for that matter, would not have gotten away with half the things that they got away with, you know. So uh, we have to make residency safe. It, we're not barbarians, savages, 
beasts or human beings, abuse, violence, chaos, dysfunction should not be a part of anyone's reality as far as I'm concerned, especially a child. I completely 100% agree with you. So let me ask you this before I ask you, um, before we ask the last question, if anyone is interested in getting their certification, um, I know that you have a TEDx talk that is online. Actually, I want to ask you this question. So your TEDx talk, the the title of it, if you're a victim of home violence, don't leave, stay. I love that title. What is the essence of that message and why is it so vital to spread? Yes, thank you for um, asking that question. Why should you leave? If you're getting attacked, why in the hell should you leave? I, and I'm saying this for men and women. Yeah. One out of seven men is abused. Mm -hmm. One out of three women will be beaten or raped in her lifetime. 15 million children witness violence in their own homes each and every year. That's just in the U.S. That's just the ones that we know about. Why should you leave? It's the abuser that has to leave, not you, the victim. Yeah. And the children are, are automatic victims, right? So we're say, when I entitled that, I said, once you enter into a real estate contract with mm -hmm. someone, whether you rent or own, whether you have a mortgage or not, as far as we're concerned, okay, you stay right where you are. Get the abuser out. So that way, the responsibility of safety is not up to you, the victim. If you just got beat up, attacked, you got verbally, physically, sexually abused, and you have to leave and run around like a refugee, yeah. we're looking to flip all of that. So you stay right where you are. It's the abuser that has to go. And and the intent, the goal with Oh So Safe is that keep running. You, the abuser, we we you should be kicked out of mm -hmm. every property that you act abusively until you learn how not to abuse. That's how it should be. Every property needs to get oh so safe certified so that way so that way there's safety, there's respect and that's how it should be. I that's a beautiful message 100%. So many people like you said their lives are turned upside down because they were abused and now they have to find a new home, find a new school, find a new, and you're right. Why should they be the ones that have to flip their lives upside down when they're the victim? Like right. it's, it's a, it's a very unbalanced system and it really kind of, you know, aligns with the victimizer, you know, like it, it's really scary. So sorry, that's my little no, 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 that's in my okay. brain. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you for echoing that. Yes. So let me ask you this question. For anyone that is interested in um, picking up your children's book about getting oh so safe certified, what is the best place for someone to go to? We our website is osofsafe.com. Uh, we're on all of the major social media uh, platforms: Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, the Oso oh Safe Kids where we talk about uh, warning signs. Uh, it's on YouTube and on TikTok. It's been about a year or two that we started that mm. Oh So Safe Kids, but they could just Google Sabrina Oso or Oh So Safe Kids. And all of these videos come up with where we speak to children, all children, whether they're safe at home or not safe at home about warning signs and that it's not their fault. And if, if they are being attacked, don't go home, stay at school, mm. don't go home and, and say to your teachers, to the superintendent, to the police, you take me where I'm safe. I'm not going home to give them empowerment, to give them a voice and, and choice. And the children's book is on Amazon. I've seen it on multiple um, websites, actually. Uh, uh, it makes me so happy to see it. It's like it appears on different websites oh, where books that. are sold. Yes. Yeah. It's amazing. So final question. So given that we're on the spiritual spotlight series podcast, how do you see the role of spirituality or higher consciousness in the realm of safety and preventing violence? I would say they're equal. They're equal spirituality, safety, consciousness. Um, if you're safe, if you're practicing spirituality, then you, you must be practicing, practicing safety yeah. respect uh you're practicing being conscious and aware 
and so I, I would say it goes hand in hand. It's it's um it's just one mirroring the other, mm. really. And and that's how it should be. Spirituality, safety, respect. It's how one should live, period, over and out. For all of us, on a on a global level, all of us, all of us human beings, adults and children alike. Mm, I 100% agree with you. I love that that is how we're going to end it. It should, You're right. They, they marry each other. They partner each other. So Sabrina, thank you so much for being on the Spiritual Spotlight series. I really look forward to speaking with you again. Thank you, Rachel. This was wonderful.